So HAMSI Personal Space Weather Station Overview and Project Update. So once again, the HAMSI Personal Space Weather Station, this is a multi-instrument ground-based device that's designed to observe space weather effects both as a single point measurement and as part of a larger distributed network. It's a personal space weather station because it's designed such that an individual should be able to purchase one and operate it in their own backyard. And the personal space weather station design, we are taking into account both the needs of amateur radio operators and professional researchers. And people from both sides are actively contributing to the design and planning of this project. We have two different branches of the personal space weather station. We have a low cost version called the GRAPE. This is being developed by Case Western Reserve University. The target cost is between 100 to $200. And this is aimed directly at monitoring Doppler shifts from the WWV standard station. So you'll hear more about the GRAPE later from Christina Collins and John Gibbons. And then we, on the performance-based side of things, we have the software-defined radio-based Tangerine SDR, which is an HF FPGA-based software-defined radio with a cost target of between $500 to $1,000. This is much more a much more robust device. You can actually make these nice oblique ionosons, ion, ionograms, as you can see here. And you'll hear more about those later today. Our personal space weather station team is very diverse. So the University of Scranton is the lead on this project. Uh, Tapper, which is an amateur radio uh, electrical engineering organization and Zephyr Engineering, they're leading the Tangerine SDR and the ground magnetometer hardware design. Case Western Reserve is doing the low cost system. New Jersey Institute of Technology is in charge of ground magnetometer science and MIT Haystack, Dr. Phil Erickson, he's providing uh, science collaboration and advisement. And our current status, we've made great project progress uh, on the tangerine side of things, we're going to hear from Scotty Cowling, WA2DFI, in the next presentation. And he's going to report to us that we are very close to getting hardware for the Tangerine SDR. The low-cost grape version 1 is out and deployed, and uh, there's actually quite a bit of demand for it. But uh, we are trying to break away from doing grape version 1, and grape version 2 is now in progress. John Gibbons, NAOBJ, will be talking about that later. And the control software and database, Bill Engelke, AB4EJ, will be giving us an update on that and actually a live demonstration over video. So thank you very much. We have a minute for questions as uh, Scotty gets queued up for, the, for his talk. So our Zoom moderators, I will be chairing the next session, oral session one. Our Zoom moderators will be Dr. Gareth Perry, KD2SAK from New Jersey Institute of Technology, and our student, Diego Sanchez, KD2RLM. Uh, he is a student at Essex County College and also NJIT.